who loves the flying ace, the beagle with the power to do everything, anything? I do. Welcome to Geek Devotions, a show by a couple of devoted geeks devoted to letting you know that you are loved. Today, we are going to talk about my very first geekdom. It has remained a, a thing that I have loved for years, since I was a child. It's Snoopy. Since a young age, I have been in love with a beagle and his bird. Charlie Brown was a side character. What are we talking about? Snoopy's the main character. What? Why are you grinning like that? It was cute. He is. He's the main character. <laughs> <laughs> it's not Charlie Brown and the Peanuts. It's Snoopy. <laughs> <laughs> I have to say, I appreciate what Charles Schultz did in creating this simple, family-friendly comic. Something to teach people the moral goodness through children and a dog. My very first movie that I ever went to go see in theaters was Snoopy Come Home. My mom took me and a friend, and we were much too young to be in a movie theater. Uh, I was still carrying a blanket, much like Linus, to the point of where my friend shouted at the screen that that was me. Not sure how I feel about being compared to a boy, but it's whatever. In this movie, Snoopy Come Home, Snoopy's first owner, whom Charlie Brown has not known of the existence of until this point, is sick and sends a letter to Snoopy. A letter, yes, an actual letter. Not email, not text, a letter. Saying that she is sick and in the hospital and desperately needs a friend. Snoopy rushes to her side to be with her. But Snoopy forgot to do something. He forgot to tell Charlie Brown where he was going or that he was even leaving. Charlie Brown was heartbroken with all of the the strife and, and him calling it a stupid dog, he loves Snoopy. Now, in the rest of the movie, Snoopy goes to the hospital on an inordinately long trip, goes and sees this little girl, determines that she is quite okay, goes to go and live with her, and decides that he prefers Charlie Brown. Comes home and everyone is happy in true peanut style. There was a scene that struck my beagle-loving heart to the core. In this scene, Charlie Brown, Linus, Lucy, and Sally are all pacing in circles, wondering where Snoopy has gone and what they have done to make him leave. How many times have we done that in our walk with God? How many times have you gone and prayed to God for something and prayed and prayed and prayed and prayed and prayed, and prayed receiving seemingly no answer? I've been there, you've been there, everyone has been there, where they are praying for something and God seems to not be there. Where is he at during this time frame? You may ask. This is my answer to you. He's right there. Sometimes we get so caught up in the asking, in the praying, in the doing, that we don't stop and let God love on us and give us his answer. God is not going to demand your attention. He's not going to demand your attention even if you are demanding an answer. He will wait and then allow you to listen to him. So I would encourage you, if you've been praying for something and have not received an answer, or it feels as if God is just not there, perhaps you should sit, meditate, wait upon the Lord. In Psalms 8, the Bible instructs us that blessed is he who waits at the gate of the Lord. And in Psalms 46, it says, be still and know that I am God. By following these basic principles, we can, if nothing else, gain peace that we need for the situation at hand. Okay, guys, so that was your devotion from us here at Geek to Devotions. Hope you enjoyed it. Don't forget to like the video, and also, if you haven't yet, subscribe to our channel today. Hit that nice little subscribe button and, you know, hang out with us. You'll get an update every week, every Friday from us here at Geek Devotions. Also, don't forget to enter into our competition we have going on. 
which is is about your favorite geekdom. We're also later today gonna post up a video kind of clarifying some of the rules of that so that you know what you're doing, we know what we're doing, everybody knows what's going on. Right. Also, one final thing, leave a comment down below to answer our question of the week. Yes. This week's question is, what is your favorite holiday Snoopy film? Mmm. And here's the kicker, why? So many. <laughs> so many choices. Let us know what you guys think below. And so that's all we got to say for today. So to all you new types, peace and love. <laughs>